CNN. Does your employer have a right to know details about your medical history, what you're infected with, what you're not infected with? Can you be fired for not taking a medicine you don't want or need? Didn't used to be. Suddenly that's happening in America, even on another cable news channel. We'll get the tales in a minute. We've just learned that at CNN, being unvaccinated is a far more serious offense than, say, masturbating on a video call with your coworkers or lying about Russian collusion. We know that from an internal memo that the head of the channel, Jeff Zucker, just sent to employees. Quote, we've been made aware of three employees who are coming to the office unvaccinated. All three have been terminated. You should know that Jeffrey Tubin, the masturbator, remains employed by the network. A couple questions remain here. Who are these three employees who were fired from CNN? Clearly, they're not CNN anchors. We know one of CNN's primetime anchors exposed other people to COVID when he was infected with it last winter. He's still there. Are they high-level people or are they more likely studio technicians, potentially African-American studio technicians? And how did CNN learn about their vaccination status? What else do they know about people's medical histories over there? Those employees have not publicly been named yet, but they are always welcome on this show. So give us a call. And it's not just CNN, we should tell you. The CEO of one of Houston's biggest hospitals has just announced that all of his workers must be vaccinated. What difference has your vaccine requirement made? Oh, I'm so pleased that we uh, did the vaccine mandate and so thankful to all of our employees for stepping up. Unfortunately, most hospitals took too long to do this and, and are not benefiting from this. And I'm hopeful that many, many more will follow suit soon. Huh. So the question is, why did healthcare workers need a mandate to get vaccinated. Why wouldn't they just get back? They're healthcare workers. They don't know enough about medicine or COVID, but they choose not to get the vaccine. Why did they make that choice? Why'd you have to force them? Mr. Hairspray didn't ask that question, but it might be worth asking. Obviously, we're in the middle of a moral panic driven by politicians who are dividing us for their own power. But if you face this, if your employer tries to force you to get medicine you don't need and threatens to fire you if you don't, our unsolicited advice is resist threaten to sue, make a lot of noise, don't go along with it. You're an American, you don't have to.